Good day. Um, why am I Australian? I don't know. Um, welcome to another Chili Guys vid. This one is on micronutrients, uh, most of which can be served by good old seaweed. Now, seaweed has is not very high in nitrogen or phosphorus, but it's high in potassium and has got lots of trace nutrients, such as boron, molybdenum, other ones, and lots of amino acids. Only slight downside of this is that it does have a small salt content, but it should be alright as long as you follow the instructions and don't overfeed your plants with it. Saying that, this one, a lot, a little bit goes a long way. This is one capful, which is 30 milliliters, to one gallon of water. Now, that should serve you for your plants, and you're only meant to put it on once every three weeks by this one. The other main trace nutrients you'll need for chilies is magnesium sulfate. We've extolled the virtues of this before in the uh, essentials video. Now, this one looks slightly different. It's hydrated, so it's more crystalline, but it can come in a powdery form, which is it dry. That's got a bit of water in it too. Now, from what we can tell, you should put probably a teaspoon per square foot of this on, uh, or tablespoon, sorry. Um, so, but um, you don't need to be very precise, just uh, put it on. With the hydrated version of magnesium sulfate, it will be much more soluble to go into the soil than the dry version, so the dry version is more of a long, slow release. And this, well, not long, but slower, and this should just disappear into the soil as soon as you put water on it. Uh, the, thing, the reason you need to use micronutrients is that your big garden variety, normal fertilizers, are often inorganic in nature and they're just mixed together from chemicals and so they lack all the small nutrients. They may just have nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, some feeds which are more specific to plants such as our normal chili feed do have a bit of magnesium in it. Uh, it's quite simple, just water. Make sure you get all the magnesium sulfate, you can see it just disappears into the soil. We've also put some banana peel on there because they're also good for potassium and they also help repel aphids and ants. Uh, I think that's all I have to say on that. Anything to add? No. Bye.